Hi, this is Edwin Young, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Keysight Technologies. And in this video, I'm going to show how to add specification lines into a plot in an ADS data display window. So what I have here is a rectangular plot in the ADS data display window, and I have some uh, return loss data um, in this plot. So very often, uh, we want to add a specification line to define our spec um, into the plot. So in the display window, there is actually a built-in way to add the spec lines. And you can reach that from this insert menu, limit line options. And you can see that there are four types of uh, spec line you can add. Inside, outside, greater than, or less than. So for in, uh, in, uh, return loss, we would want to use the uh, less than option. So using the cursor, you can uh, draw this uh, line. Uh, approximately for the spec that you want. So um, what I have drawn here is a spec from about 4 to 14 gig um, at about 10 dB uh, return loss. And if we double click on this spec line, we can actually come in to change the thickness of the line and we can change the color. We can also change the uh, y-axis reference uh, if you're using a uh, y-axis on the uh, right-hand side, we can um, we can choose that as our reference. And then in the data points tab here, we can actually uh, define exactly the uh, starting point and the end point of our frequency uh, in the spec line. So I'm going to do that 14 to, let's say, 13 gig. And then the actual value of the spec, I can define it, let's say, 12 here, minus 12 dB and uh, it's going to um, assign that value to the other end as well. So I'm going to hit OK, and you can see that this is our spec from uh, 4 gig to 13 gig at minus uh, 12 dB return loss. Another option that we can do is to go into two clicks on this um, spec line again, and then define a variable uh, for the spec value that we want. Let's say we call it y value, and then we can use an equation to define the value for y value. Let's make it minus 10 here. So by doing so, I can you know, use a variable to define the actual value of this back line. So this is a very straightforward way to um, insert a uh, one segment horizontal specification line into rectangular plot. But what if you have a more complicated uh, specification, something that may, you, have, you may have two segments, two values for different frequency, or even a spec line that is uh, frequency dependent? How would you uh, uh, insert a spec like that into the plot? So I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that in the next page here, page two. So let's say our return loss uh, is given by these two, set, two segment specification. When frequency is below a certain frequency, in this case 7 gigahertz, the spec is minus 12. When the frequency is above 7 gigahertz, the specification is given by this uh, frequency dependent expression where f is the frequency. fb is just a constant value of 28. So um, if you have a spec like that, uh, we can use uh, some equations in the data display window. Uh, to define a line so that you can plot that as a line um, on the rectangular plot. And I've already done that in the uh, equations uh, down here. So I have three equations down here. The first one is just defining FB equal to 28 gig. The second equation is an if-then-else statement, uh, basically um, defining the uh, spec for these two uh, segments. So if frequency is less than this value, it's minus 12. Otherwise, it's given by this expression. Um, this e expression uses a variable freak, which is already available in the data set. Um, typically, if you run the nest parameter simulation, you'll have a freak value available for you to write equations with. And then the third equation is down here. I'm using the build subrange function to put the endpoints um, on this uh, spec line so that I can have the spec line to begin and end at the frequency I want. In this case, one meg, and then ends at 28 gig. 
Okay, so we're ready to plot those uh, spec line. Let's go ahead and do that. Spec one. And this is our spec line, minus 12 up to 7 gig and the frequency dependent um, uh, behavior up to 20 gig. And then um, we can also uh, go ahead and um, change the color, change the thickness, and then let's add some a real return loss data in there. So there you have it. We have the spec line as well as our frequency dependent um, S11 data on the plot. So that's how we can add uh, frequency dependent specification lines into a plot in ADS display window. Thank you.